Monday, April 27th, Tharsis. Soul Blighter has done the unthinkable. With his army scattered in disarray, he fled up through the eye of Tharsis and into the very bowels of the earth. I can hardly blame him. The sight of Ulrich hacking his way through the enemy, Baumung flashing in his hand, caused many of our own men to stand aside in awe. If it were anyone other than Soul Blighter, I am sure we would just wait outside the volcano until they had been roasted alive or had succumbed to the poisonous vapors. Unfortunately, he has survived worse, and we must follow him. None of us are foolish enough to believe that Soul Blighter fled because he fears us. If he plans on dying, it will not be quietly or alone. Ulrich believes he has deliberately chosen this place for his final stand. Whether or not he will be able to escape the cataclysm he plans to unleash by destroying Tharsis and shattering the cloud spine must not matter to him anymore. Soul Blighter, like Balor before him, seeks not to conquer, but to destroy, to be master of the unthinking dead in their blasted lands. So Ulrich is gathering all who are fit to enter Atharsis. The walking wounded and those weakened by fighting will not be idle either. They will see to it that what is left of Soul Blighter's army is returned to the earth. And so I hurriedly record my last thoughts before entering Tharsis and leave my journal in the care of our surgeon, knowing that I may not return and that it may not even matter. Either we kill Soul Blighter and his minions here, or we die. And the world with us. <laughs>